it's time for another book review. And this time we're reviewing one of the most important books ever written on running. We are looking at Daniel's Running Formula by Jack Daniel's PhD. Let's get it on. All right, guys, you know I read a lot of books and, and that's why I want to share them with you. And I think you should read a lot of books too. That's it's just an excellent way to learn and uh, be inspired about anything, really. What I do is that I go through a lot of books, but there are a few books that I keep looking back to, keep referring back to. And the main one is this one. Jack Daniels is one of the most legendary running coaches in history. Um, you know, his principles are building, you know, he has his own principles to a large degree, but it's, it's, it's similar to Arthur Lydiard type principles. Uh, without getting into that, he's a renowned coach and I personally uh, believe in his uh, methods a lot and they've, they've worked for a lot of people. And those methods are explained very well in this book. Uh, so let's talk about the book. Daniel's running formula. Why is it called a formula? Well, um, you know, there are different types of books. Some are for just beginners, just wanting to get into running, learn some basics. Others focus more on exercise physiology, hardcore science. And this one, I would say, is a very practical book for the serious runner. Uh, particularly if you're into track, uh, but all the way up to the marathon, really. This is, this is, you know, there's training plans in here from, you know, 1500 meter training, 800 meter training even, uh, up to uh, the marathon. So it's really for all types of long distance runners, not really for sprinters, uh, but for middle to long distance, ru distance runners. And uh, starts out by just going through some basic principles of exercise physiology. The contents, the names of the chapters are as follows. One, the ingredients of success. Two, training principles and running technique. Three, aerobic training profiles. Uh, then training runs and intensities, V dot values, season training, fitness training, 800 meter training, 1500 to 2 mile training, 5k, 10k, cross country, half marathon, marathon, etc. So there's a lot of stuff to learn here. Um, chapter 5 though, V dot values, that's probably the core of this book and the core of Jack Daniels' um, coaching philosophy. Uh, v dot refers to essentially VO2 max, uh, the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can use for uh, for running or for performing muscular work. So uh, when you're talking about VO2 max, maximum aerobic sort of capacity, we're talking about milliliters of oxygen per kilo per body weight. And there's a little dot across uh, over the V there, indicating that it's a minute volume, and that's the dot. So uh, Jack Daniels basically coined the phrase V dot, but it essentially refers to VO2 max and what he has done is that he's looked at statistics over for a lot of runners and he's just and and couple that with his knowledge in exercise physiology he's an exercise physiologist he's come up with these tables called the VDOT tables and they are the core of this book because they predict based on your race times all the way down to like a mile time Based on your mile time, you can essentially predict your marathon time. And this is, this is a well-known fact within exercise physiology that there is a correlation between race times. So if your mile time, for example, is you know, 4.57, if you can run a sub five minute mile, then chances are you can run a marathon in 2.43, approximately and your VO2 max is likely around 60 milliliters of oxygen per kilo per body weight. So these tables, super cool. I refer back to them all the time. Uh, they're awesome to refer to. And based on those, based on where, where you fall within that table, you can then take a look at your training intensities. You know, where, what, what's my pace for a threshold session? What should my pace be for an interval session, training VO2 max? that sort of thing. It gives you a starting point, you know, everyone's different and based on your economy, uh, how much oxygen you use to run a kilometer, for example, you might not fall exactly on those numbers, but it gives you a starting point to start thinking somewhere around this type of pace is probably my marathon pace, for example. 
um, and then you keep adjusting it as you learn more about your body. So basically the book, as I said, just goes through some basics in exercise physiology and starts talking then eventually about training, right? Like uh, easy running. What does it mean to be running easy? What does it mean to run at threshold pace? What does it mean to run at interval pace, repetition pace? He, he talks about different paces and different types of workouts. And one of his key principles is knowing the purpose of a workout rather than just doing a lot of things. You want to know the purpose of each workout and then work specifically on those systems that you're looking to stimulate. Um, so, you know, when you're, when you're training threshold, you don't want to run at VO2 max. Then you're not going to be able to accumulate enough time at your threshold. You want to run a little easier and find that perfect threshold pace so you can hold that for 20 minutes in a tempo run or something like that, right? So he's very particular in that sense and this book will really show you how to do that. Also talks about how to build a training plan for yourself or someone else if you're a coach. Uh, so I use this all the time when I'm coaching people. I've, so far I've done a few coaching sessions with three people so far that I've you know, created training plans for and helped them uh, you know, um, train towards a half marathon or something like that. And in that process, when I'm building training plans, I'm using this book as a, as a guide, you know, referring to those tables and, and that sort of thing. By the way, if you're interested in, in uh, uh, coaching via Skype, then you can just send me an email at coaching at sweetnaturalliving.com. Coaching at sweetnaturalliving.com. Uh, just write running coaching in the, in, the, in the subject line and we can talk about some uh, prices and stuff like that. Now this book, I wouldn't really say that maybe this is the book to get if you're an not so ambitious runner just looking to run for fitness, just running for health, you just like to run. But if you're looking for performance, if you're looking to you know, optimize your training, and especially if you're a cross-country athlete in school, like high school or something like that, or track and field, that sort of thing, this book will really show you how to plan a week, you know, with all the cross-country races uh, during the fall season and how to sort of, how to put those races into your week and use them as workouts and you know if you have a race during a week should you do other quality sessions that week or maybe you should do less you know trying to sort of juggle intensities and and mileage and all that stuff that's 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 a really uh, valuable point that you'll learn from this book preparing for the race marathon training uh, and also it's very specifically based on your mileage which is obvious like Jack Daniels knows that you know depending on your total mileage and depending on your speed, there'll be different rules to follow, right? Sort of guidelines like uh, interval training shouldn't make up more than 8% of your total mileage, for example. That's a great guideline. Okay, I'm not gonna go above 8% of my total mileage for the week uh, in terms of that type of intensity, um, and etc., etc. I'm not gonna go through his whole philosophy. We could do that in another video. But really, just excellent, excellent book. Really uh, well written, really enjoyable to read. For me anyway, that's, you know, I'm a super exercise physiology geek, so I like reading it. But it's practical, you know, it's not overly focused on the physiology aspect of running. It's practical, it gets into those how to train type of questions. And uh, certainly now that I'm just starting, you know, I've just started my first half marathon build-up ever. Uh, for me, it's nice to just have something to go by when I head to the track and, and run intervals. You know, how, how fast should I run a 400 meter? Well, okay, my mileage is, you know, I'm running about 60 kilometers per week. So the session can be this big in terms of volume and my current... My last 10k, I, I ran this fast, okay, so my VO2 max is probably around there, and then, okay, so this type of pace, that's what I should aim for. Uh, that gives me a lot of, 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 of guidance. That's, it's almost like having a coach, right? This book, it's a coach <laughs> in itself. So, get the book, and of course, if you want to buy this book, I'll put a link in the description, there's an affiliate link, you can buy it off Amazon. Uh, I'll get a little bit of a commission for sending you there if you choose to buy, but the price remains the same for you. I bought this book by my own money. It's not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not sponsored. But uh, I love this book and I would recommend it to anyone serious about their running. Go ahead and check out that link. Let me know in the description if you read this book. 
And uh, if you haven't, maybe you have another book that you really like that you want to share with me, tell me all about it in the comments. Please subscribe, of course, if you want more book reviews, more uh, gear reviews, more training talks, running vlogs, all that cool, good stuff. And I wish you happy running. Uh, feel free to contact me for any questions at any time. Uh, you can do it in the comment section or you can send me, as I said, an email at coaching at sweetnaturalliving.com if you're looking to uh, get some advice, maybe a coaching session just talking about some general stuff that you can do to improve your running fitness. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.